Welcome to the Michael Cooley podcast on rethinking leadership. In these episodes, we will look at leadership with a fresh perspective and take your leadership effectiveness to the next level. For more information, go to cooleyinstitute.com and follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media. When times are tough because the environment has changed, the main challenge is to adapt. And adaptation here is a survival mechanism. It's a process to survive. Because if you can't adapt, then the nature of your, re- your reality will not match with the nature of the reality of you know, your environment, the new reality of your environment. And this mismatch um, will not work for you because who do you think will win? You know, if you don't adapt to reality, will reality change for because of you? It, it won't. So you have to change, and that process of change is, you know, what we call is adaptation, so that you can continue to stay alive. Now, for people to do that, they need help, and one way of helping them from an organizational perspective is to empower them, is to give them space so that they can find their own individual unique way of adapting and because people are different everybody adapts in their own way you can't expect that you know people will adapt like you or a will adapt like b like c it doesn't work this way you know the first rule of psychology and of understanding human nature is that we're different and that manifests itself in so many different ways especially in adaptation especially in dealing with stress so what do you do you empower your people with every possible tool and technique and culture and mindset in whatever support they might need and you can provide so that you help them adapt in their own way. If somebody, let's say, somebody is working from home, if they find it better that they can deliver on their, you know, on the deliverables, on their assignment, on the deadlines, if they work overnight, then fine, let them do that. If they feel that maybe during these stressful times they need to sleep you know, more so that they can function better because sleeping helps them, then who said everybody has to, be, has to wake up at the right time, you know, at the same time? They can wake up in the afternoon if that makes them you know, feel better and continue to work in the evening as long as you get the work done next day in the morning. So you can't be really you know, very rigid when it comes to these kinds of normal day processes. So bottom line, people will need help in times of adaptation because adaptation is hard, adaptation is difficult and it's your job when you're exercising leadership or when you're managing your people to provide them with every possible support that you can so that they adapt on their own way and they continue their journey of survival and so that you continue to work together so that your entire organization or your shared and common task can be achieved. If you don't follow this process, then then it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for everybody. And I think it's one of the prime, you know, responsibilities of people who exercise leadership and you know who have teams is to be aware of this and to allow for this process and this flexibility to happen. Otherwise, there will be problems. And the last thing you need is to mismanage such a delicate situation. You need to, you know, upgrade your leadership skills times 10, maybe, with complete flexibility from your side so that you can contain the situation and emerge, you know, out of this reality when normal time come in an acceptable way and maybe even in a better way. Thank you for listening to the Michael Cooley podcast. Please visit CooleyInstitute.com and send us an email. We would love to hear your comments and thoughts on this episode. And remember to follow Michael's continuous learning insights on social media.